Yo, what's up guys, it's Aloha here and today I'm gonna talk about the new Doom DLC called Ancient Gods Part 1. Oh boy, after not playing the game since launch I was rusty as fuck and it took me a few hours to feel the game out again. I was playing on Nightmare and the game was brutal. First of all, this DLC is a continuation of the base game and I would seriously recommend to play the base game first to catch up with the story and to feel the whole game out a little bit, because you definitely need the experience for this. Plus, the DLC is much harder in my opinion than the base game. So, in this DLC, we get 3 new locations, new enemy types and some multiplayer additions to the game, but in this video, I'm gonna only talk about the story mode. The game took me around 5-6 to six hours to complete on Nightmare, because I died a lot. On lower difficulties, the game length is about 4 to 5 and a half hours to finish, but that's just a guess. Let's talk about the good stuff first. The gameplay is still amazing. The way your character moves, plays demons, the animations and how badass everything feels is still just as good as in the base game with more challenging fights. The new locations look amazing, really creative backgrounds and level design. The story mode itself was interesting as well. Although, we are not playing Doom for the story, right? We are here to slay and feel like a badass. And the ending cutscene? Oh boy. Let's just say, I cannot wait until part 2 of this DLC. It's gonna be awesome. And now it's time for the bad things that I experienced. First of all, one of the new enemy types, called the Spirit, was annoying as hell. It felt like a lazy addition to the game. It basically just spawns, flies inside a demon, and it makes the demon a lot faster and it gives it a crazy amount of HP. So you pretty much have to put all the focus on it first to eliminate it and it takes a while. And when you kill it, and when you kill the buff demon, sorry, the spirit flies out of the body and it gets stunned for a short amount of time. And the only way to kill it is to use your plasma rifle with the microwave blast mod. You have got to be fucking kidding me. But if you are surrounded, or you somehow fail to kill it with a microwave blast, it flies into another demon and you gotta start all over again. It just felt annoying to me, but if you like it then that's awesome and have fun with it. The other disappointing things were the lack of boss fights to me at least. You pretty much only get one boss fight at the end and without going into details slash spoilers about it, it was kinda disappointing. It wasn't epic or anything special, but it wasn't terrible either. I was just expecting something better or something more. But the ending cutscene of the disappointing boss fight really hyped me up and it definitely made up for it. Let's talk about the difficulty a little bit. This DLC is brutal. Hard. I'm panicking. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you're the fights were still satisfying, but they are really throwing everything at you from the beginning to the end. So if you like challenging battles that requires fast reaction time and hard fights, then this DLC is definitely for you. You can't even imagine how hard the Ultra Nightmare Predator would be, so good luck to anyone who tries it. The music was different as well, from the intro and throughout the whole game, you can definitely tell the difference between the DLC and the base game itself. To me, this DLC soundtrack was not as good without Mick Gordon. But, it was still not bad and you can definitely jam to it. My final rating of this DLC is a 7 out of 10. As I said, to me, one of the new enemy types was really annoying and I didn't like it at all and you have to deal with the spirit a lot throughout the game and it makes some of the fights really annoying as i said the music was not as good as before the final boss fight was a little disappointing as well but overall the dlc is definitely worth it especially if you're planning to play through it multiple times be ready it's hard as fuck so good luck boys have fun with it and peace